Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm going to show you how to change your service intervals with NCS Expert. Hope you guys like it. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So what we're going to do is changing, for example, 25,000 kilometers to 15,000 kilometers. And we're doing this without any need to reset your current mileage to the next service. Okay, I'm going to show you step by step uh, what you need to do. First thing first, collect the cable of course, then let's run IMPA, INPA, whatever you want to call it. This step is just to make sure we have a connection with the car. So turn ignition to position 2, let's leave it that way. And now we're looking for two black dots, battery and ignition, which means we have a connection. Now we can exit IMPA and go straight to NCS Expert to code our service interval. So what we want to do is uh, load the Reftus NCS Expert profile. And now click F1 on the first button on your left, saying VIN. Now ECU, choose your current chassis. And now you need to pick from one of the four options available for this particular car which is a 2004 E46 if you have the older car you might want to choose EWS give it a try if it doesn't work um, you'll get a pop-up message saying you can't read the car so you need to pick another option okay moving on if things work all right you should have information from your car the VIN number etc and now we're ready to code a specific module so at the moment you're going to pick the model we want to code in this particular case it's the AKMB next step is to change the type of job we want to do so at the moment it's like it's in code mode and we want the read mode and to do that we need to pick the option Kodia Dayton Lesson or Kodia Dayton Lesson Please, my German viewers, correct me in the comments below. And now we're good to read the car, so which means the information from that specific module will go to your work folder, which we're going to have a look straight away. Now we're looking for this specific particular file, fsw underscore psw, which contains the information because we picked the specific model, just contains information of that module. So I do recommend you do a backup of this. So create a folder somewhere else in, on your computer. I'll copy mine to this one and rename it to something you understand in the future. Just in case you want to put things back as they were. Okay, now what we need to do is open NCS Dummy, which is an excellent tool to code your car. It will help you a lot, trust me. We need to figure out which model are we coding, which in this case it's the KMB. At the moment, any version will do, I'll explain you later. And now we're looking for that file we're talking about early FSW, PSW. So it's the file that came from the car. As you can see, there's an X, you know, like error message. It means we didn't pick the right version of the module. Um, just try another one, quick tip. You can use your keyboard arrows up and down to um, navigate between the versions. When you pick the right one, we will not get any error message and you'll see a tick box ready for you to tick and untick the options you want to code and that's it we're ready to code let's have a quick look on the options we have for this particular module the KMB for this particular version again you might have different options uh, on your car depending again on the when the car was made and your chassis as well so let's have a quick look we just for this video we're just looking for 
the service interval. Nevertheless, let's scroll on the available options just to show you guys what you can do. Again, this program and CS them it's pretty good. As you can see, there's an English translation right next to the German code. We'll be able to change all those settings. Also, please note in some cases you need to tick one, two, three boxes, three options for one thing to work. Some of the coding is not just direct as well. Click one thing. Most of the things are direct, but some don't. Please keep that in mind. If you guys can, please have a look at my other coding videos. Uh, I do have a few. I pre uh, I'm planning to do a few more. Uh, if you guys want a particular code, particular options, please let me know in the comments. Have a look, for example, at the daytime running lights coding for the E46 or how to reset your service intervals without any computer, just using the buttons on your dashboard. As you can see, there are so many things to change, so many things to code. It's very easy to get distracted and start changing things all around. Please um, do it carefully. Okay, we're looking for the service interval kilometers, because this is in kilometers, even if you have your car in miles, you need to do the, the conversion. And finally, there it is, KM service interval, at the moment my guide's on 25,000 kilometers, let's change it to 15,000 kilometers. Changing this will not reset your current mileage to the next service, which is a good thing. Okay, now that we did our changes, it's time to export it and send it to the car. And to do that, we'll export the FSW PSW file .man. This is the type of file that NCX expert with that specific profile, the raft of profile, will read. Let's put it that way. And now it's exported as you can see. Now we need to go back to NCS Expert and what we need to do, and because we previously changed the type of job to read, not to code, now we want to code and we need to pick the option SG underscore Kudierin. And now what's going to happen is NCS Expert will get that dot .man file we created and will send it to the car with um, the code we did and then basically that's it show you for example what i did on mine so at the moment moment i have 7725 miles to the next oil service and now let's click execute job And there you go, we changed the service interval to 15,000 kilometers. Um, just because we can, let's put it back as it was. So, same steps, export the file, NCS expert, execute job again. And back to the 7,000 miles. And that's it guys, we did our coding, let me know in the comments if you want me to cover any other coding, really hope you like this video, if you do please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me to continue doing these videos and tech videos etc. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you all in the next one.